MapleStory has a proven track record as being a long-running MMORPG, and one of the most beloved in the genre. First released in 2003, and developed by Wyzet, it was later absorbed into its publisher Nexon. This would cause a lot of issues down the line, and according to some old fans of the game, completely ruin the experience. The game has built a large and passionate player base though, that enjoys its charming, cartoon-like graphics, expansive character customization, and exciting combat mechanics. Over the years, the game has continued to evolve, grow, and change, adding new content and features to keep players engaged and entertained. But if you've never jumped into MapleStory before, is it worth playing today in 2024? Is it still the beloved MMO everyone remembers it as? Let's talk about the MMO itself, the struggles it's went through, and if it holds up today. In MapleStory, players are given the chance to create their own unique character and explore the vibrant world of MapleWorld. During their journey, they'll encounter a wide variety of monsters and quests, providing ample opportunity to test their skills and abilities. MapleStory's unique side-scrolling combat system is renowned for being dynamic and fast-paced, allowing players to use a vast range of skills and tactics to defeat their foes and progress through the game. Though some fans love this style of combat, it could potentially be a turnoff to new players. It does come off as a bit outdated, and if you're looking for a more modern combat system, you're not going to find it here. If you can get past the old-school look and feel though, there are some incredibly engaging mechanics underneath. MapleStory's character creation system is a standout feature of the game, allowing players to truly make their character their own. With numerous options for customization, players can tweak their character's appearance, including hairstyle, facial features, and clothing. In addition to the aesthetic aspects, MapleStory also offers players a massive selection of classes to choose from. There are over 40 jobs and classes in this game, allowing for an insane amount of customization. Each class comes with their own unique abilities and playstyles, providing one of the most diverse and varied MMO experiences out there. Since its initial release in 2003, MapleStory has had numerous major updates and overhauls, adding tons of content for new and existing players alike. Whether you're a casual gamer or a hardcore player, you'll find plenty to do in MapleWorld. With dozens of regions to discover, a plethora of quests to complete, and frequent events that add new challenges and rewards, even events specifically targeted towards new players, awarding boosts to leveling speed to help catch you up to the newest content. MapleStory has the content to keep you engaged and entertained for hundreds of hours, but that might also be to its detriment. This game is very grindy. If you're more used to modern MMOs such as World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV, MapleStory might catch you off guard. Even with the provided boosts given to new players, if you want to go for max level and end game viability, the grind will be hundreds if not thousands of hours. Whether this is a good or a bad thing is entirely subjective, but be prepared to dedicate months of your time if it's something that you want. Along with its many gameplay updates, the game has continued to evolve and grow over the years, with notable updates to its graphics and environmental detail. The game's charming, cartoonish style remains appealing to many players, and the nostalgia factor is a key part of its charm, with many players enjoying the feeling of playing a game that's been around for so long. Some new players, though, might find this a bit off-putting, comparing the graphic style to an old Flash game and not something that they want to spend a lot of time and perhaps even money to play. In my opinion though, despite its age, MapleStory's visual style has stood the test of time, proving that sometimes the oldies are indeed the goodies. MapleStory's thriving and engaging community is definitely a defining feature of the game. Players are known for their friendliness and supportiveness, fostering a welcoming and inclusive environment. The game has a vibrant community forum, where players can come together to discuss strategies, share tips and tricks, and connect with fellow players. Additionally, the game's fanbase regularly produces creative content, such as fan art, music, and videos, showcasing the passion and dedication of MapleStory's fans. MapleStory MapleStory this community aspect may be one of the biggest reasons for playing MapleStory today. As this community has been around for so long, they love seeing new people try out their game, and are more than willing to help out in any way that you need. As some MMO communities can be a little less welcoming, I'm looking at you, wow, this is a nice breath of fresh air. As is common with many massively multiplayer online games, 
MapleStory has a monetization model that involves offering some content through paid cash shop items. This is where Nexon's influence becomes the most visible. The cash shop offers a plethora of cosmetics, but also a large amount of game enhancing buffs, almost acting as a premium subscription. However, despite this, MapleStory is considered to be fairly free to play friendly. Many players are able to progress through the game without spending any money on the cash shop items, and the game offers a variety of free content and events to keep players engaged and entertained. Older fans who played when MapleStory was a true free-to-play MMO though, see this as Nexon trying to monetize every aspect of the game, making it pay to win, and ruining what they feel nostalgia for. In order to combat some of the negative feelings this caused in the player base, Nexon released what are called heroic servers, originally called reboot servers. These servers have many noticeable differences such as a higher amount of meso, in-game currency, dropping from enemies, allowing equipment to be upgraded with meso instead of premium real money currency, trading equipment between characters is disabled, upgrades are streamlined, and some events are unavailable. These heroic servers make for a more solo friendly experience, take out some of the intense grind, and reduce the amount of predatory microtransactions the player base was opposed to. These servers are only available in NA and EU territories, but seem to be the preferred way to play. So is MapleStory worth starting in 2024? This question can only be answered based on your own preferences and expectations from an MMO, but let's consult the Steam reviews for a final say. Great game, but I heavily recommend playing on a heroic server if you aren't a workaholic that makes tons of money. I can totally understand busy grinders that would rather just throw some money at the game with the very little time they have, totally not hating on the normal servers. But heroic servers in my opinion are a much, much better gaming experience. I was unwilling to play this game for years until I heard about these servers and they have not disappointed me. This game is designed to be inefficient. It's designed to take up all of your time and money, but what else are you going to do with your time and money? Great if you like men. MapleStory does have some quirks such as its age old graphics, but the welcoming and helpful community make it much easier to jump into the game today. Plus, its unique character customization and fast paced combat remain enjoyable and satisfying. The greedy cash shop practices are a bit predatory, and the game is so grindy you might have to spend months to get to max level, but the old school charm helps make it easier. Whether or not MapleStory is worth starting in 2024 will ultimately depend on if its strengths outweigh its weaknesses for you as an individual gamer. Have you ever played MapleStory? And if so, what are your thoughts? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more MMO videos. Thank you all so much for watching Pasta TV, until next time.